Topping the news tonight, Minister of Local Government Dr. Suraj Ratan Rambajan has strongly criticized members of the Degumartin Regional Corporation over a three-week pileup of garbage in the La Puerta area. The minister visited the area and had a private contractor begin cleanup of the rubbish. But he says he will have a meeting with the corporation to sort out what he says is clearly mismanagement. Peter Christopher has more. After many weeks of watching garbage piling up, residents of La Puerta finally saw the huge mounds of garbage being removed this morning. Minister of Local Government Dr. Suraj Rambachan visited the area on Thursday after residents' complaints about the garbage pileup were aired in the media on Wednesday. Dr. Rambachan called out a private firm to begin removing the garbage immediately. But he said he was not impressed with the Digo Martin Regional Corporation's approach to the problem. What is very disturbing to me is that the officials from the corporation at both um, the level of the chairman and the councillors and also the level of the CEO and the other um, officials who are in charge of collecting this garbage are giving me one excuse after the other. And you know, to tell me that this happens every Christmas and therefore this is to be expected, I think this is an unfortunate way to look at this. If this thing happens every Christmas, then I mean surely you should know it's going to happen the next one and things must be put into place. So obviously there has been poor management of the garbage collection. The minister said he has set a meeting for tomorrow at his office to discuss how the problem could be rectified. People pay taxes in this country and uh, we have to give them the best quality service. And this is not um, the kind of service that people deserve. And I intend to change that as the minister responsible for local government. And in this case, uh, one aspect of it is the collection of garbage. A member of the corporation, William Devonish, said sanctions had been imposed previously on the contractor responsible for collection in the area because of his inability to complete his jobs. Mr. Devonish explained that in addition to La Puerta's pileup, other areas in Digo Martin were also affected by the contractor's negligence. However, another resident agreed with the minister that the corporation itself had been lax. That parcel of land you see there with all the garbage dumped on it concerns me. And it has been gradually getting to that position over a period of five years. I've had dialogue with the minister, former government, present government, and I've spoken to at least about 40 people concerning that. The present corporation and all the, those in, within seem to be at sleep permanently. Other areas in northwest Trinidad have also been affected by tardy garbage collection. Residents of Karanaj, Kukurit and Maraval have complained about garbage pileups. Peter Christopher, C News. So glad you can join us on this day after Boxing Day edition of the Sea Sport Report. And get ready to pop the champagne as tomorrow is the big day. Well, that's right, the big day when the top local athletes and officials will gather at Queen's Hall in Port of Spain. Well, that's the Honor Sport's biggest star performers for 2012. The Gala Spirit of Sports Award is one of the highlights of the sporting fraternity and recognizes a wide cross-section of talent from athletes and coaches to community teams and journalists. This year will also feature the top regional stars, including a Grenadian who has been given honorary Trinidad and Tobago citizenship. It is often said that Trinidad and Tobago and Grenada are sister countries. And that saying became reality today when Grenadian Olympic gold medalist Kirani James was made an honorary Trinidad and Tobago citizen upon his arrival for the Friday night Spirit of Sport Award. He is going to be an official citizen, honorary citizen of Trinidad and Tobago in the sporting arena. And he can utilize through this card every single sporting facility in Trinidad and Tobago under the Ministry of Sport, the sport company, which means any stadium, any gym facility, swimming pool, uh, sports science center. The card will also enable James to attend the cultural functions free of charge. The Canadian track and field star was also presented with a painting depicting his celebration at the end of the gold medal winning performance and was lost for words to describe the honor. I'm just happy that you know, we all can relate on a level other than track and field and other than sports. So I just want to thank for um, receiving this inv invitation for these awards and I'm glad to be here in Trinidad. Thank you. James is in TNT to receive an award at the Ministry of Sport hosted Spirit of Sport Award. Also arriving in the country today was TNT 400 meter bronze medalist Lalon Gordon who will also be honored at the ceremony. 
The spirit of sport awards in Trinidad and Tobago did not exist. We had awards that will reward Lalonde and Kirani, but the spirit of sport awards understands that it takes much more. There are much, many more people who, who give in the lives of these athletes from the full school teacher to the community man who organize a little sweat and take money out of his pocket to buy a little running shoe for, for children in the village. The Spirit of Sport Award will take place on Friday at Queen's Hall, Port of Spain, and would seek to honor all the top contributors to sport in TNT and the region.